Want to improve your defense in Madden 24 to get block sheds, stops in the backfield, pick sixes, and just have an overall better defense? Well, relax, because you know I got you. In today's video, we will teach you how to build the best defense in Madden 24. You will learn what to look for to set up your defense, roster to improve your defense, to stop the run, and the pass. With better defense, you will win more games. Madden sets up your roster based on injuries, trades, and overall ratings. These are not always the best rosters, so customizing your roster will put you at an advantage if a person lower on the depth chart is better at the starting position. Before we get into the tutorial, if you want to see more in-depth, detailed Madden 24 tips like this one, subscribe and get better at Madden. Don't forget to like the video and click the notification bell to not miss any new Madden uploads. In this video, I will show you how to set up change, and save the defensive depth chart to improve your defense, and also show you how to use your roster online in online ranked matches. We will look at how to view player ratings and rankings to arrange the roster to have the best players at the best positions. In order to set your defensive depth chart to the best of its potential, to get these block sheds, to get pick sixes, to just get an overall better defensive experience. First, you would go to the NFL logo in the creation center on the menu, and then you would go to edit rosters, and then we're gonna go to order def chart, okay? Now, in here, I will be breaking down how to set your defensive depth chart. The first position we'll break down is the defensive linemen. These guys are very important because they aid in stopping the run and getting pressure on the quarterback. Start with left end first. Okay. Now, you can substitute linebackers in at this position, but if you don't want to do that and you want to go by the default left end and defensive ends, that's what I'm going to be breaking down. Okay, now for left end, you want to look at speed, strength, awareness, and finesse moves. Montez Sweat, we're doing the Chicago Chi-Town Bears. Montez Sweat is a really good candidate. Oh, first thing I forgot to mention, go into your roster in this and press auto reorder. Okay, because sometimes... The rosters are set up based on injuries and things like that, so you might not have a player up there in that position. Okay, now we're going to look at speed and strength. Next, we're going to look at awareness and finesse moves. So let's go over here. Montez Sweat, 90 speed, out freaking standing. Okay, we'll look at the next left end, 75 speed. The next one is 80. Okay, we have this 81. So we have 90, 75, and 81, okay? Next, we'll look at strength, okay? Montez Sweat, 80. Marcus Walker, 78. And this last, Rasheem Green is 80, okay? So based upon that, I would put Demarcus Walker in this position, and I would substitute Rasheem Green in this position. Therefore, our roster is set up with the fastest to the strongest, okay? Next, after I do that, I would go look at the finesse moves. These are defensive ends. We need them to have good finesse moves to get off those tackles, okay? Montez Sweat has an 83. Green has a 60. Delaney, DeMarcus, Delaney Walker. DeMarcus Walker has a 76. Okay, I don't like the 60 and a 76, but if we go back over here with the strength, go back over here with the speed, 
He is 75 and he's 81. So I like the six more speed, so I'll keep it like that. Let's move on to the right defensive end, and we would do the same thing. Let's look at speed and then strength. 80. Okay, look at the next right end. 82. Like him a little bit better. And then we have no more no more right ends. So based upon this right here, I don't like the 80 strength compared to the 81 strength, but I do like the 82 compared to the 80 strength. So I would start Demarcus Robinson, and then up under that, I would put this guy. I'm not going to even say his name. Nangake. Nangaku. Yannick. There you go. Yannick. So that's how I would set the defensive ends up. Let's go to the defensive tackles. And these methods can be done for any team, guys. Any team. Okay, defensive tackle. What you're looking for with defensive tackle, these are the big boys. You want strength, strength, strength. That is the most important thing when selecting a defensive tackle. Your number one defensive tackle should be your strongest person, your strongest and heaviest person on your team. So uh, Andrew Billings is 89. Okay. The next biggest, the next strongest defensive tackle is we have this Javon Dexter. He's 85. And we have no more down here. We have left ends. So based on strength, I would already put this guy like this. Okay. 89, 85, 84. Okay. From greatest to least. The next thing we look for on defensive tackle is we look for awareness. Or really weight. I look for weight. So 311, 312, 309. I love the way that it looks as far as pounds. Andrew Billings, the biggest and strongest person on the team. He is my defensive tackle, number one. Next, we will look for awareness. Now, this doesn't really help when you're a defensive tackle. It's mostly for linebackers and stuff. But we can look at how they look. 75, 75, 83. I'm cool with that. I wish Billings would have had an 83, but it's good. The next thing you want to look at is block shed and mostly power moves. I really like power moves. Okay. Let's go to power moves. Here's power moves. 80, 82, 78. I love the way that looks. Um, because he's heavier, I'm going to keep Billings there. If If he was heavier, if Dexter was heavier than Billings, I would put Dexter in the lineup first. Lastly, we can look at finesse moves. Not too good. Okay. And okay. So he doesn't really have good finesse moves, but this is a power defensive tackle. You can also click on the R3. Okay. And you can look at what qualities these guys have. Okay. He utilizes bull rush moves. So we want power moves for him. Okay. Dexter. Dexter. Utilizes bull rush moves. We want power moves. Jones utilizes swim move and bull rush moves. So he has a finesse move where he could use it. So we can actually start him at defensive end if we wanted to. But we're just going to set this up for the defensive tackles. Therefore, our defensive tackles are set. Left outside linebacker. Okay. Left outside linebacker. You want to look at speed and strength. Next, you want to look at awareness and then play rack. So we'll look at the speed right here. Left outside linebacker is 80, 86. No other left outside linebacker. One thing right now, I do like uh, Dylan Cole because he runs 86 compared to 80. I'd rather have speed out there at linebacker. I can make up for the rest in other places. Okay, strength 84, 72. He's not just faster, he's also stronger. So I would put Dylan Cole in that position. Now, the original roster, if you jump into the game and start playing, you're going to have Jack Sanborn in that position. You don't want that. Okay, let's go to right outside linebacker. Right outside linebacker, same thing, speed and strength. We have 83. Okay, the next right outside linebacker is 86 Dylan Cole but he's our left outside linebacker so we don't really have any other right outside linebackers 
You can put a defensive end or a middle linebacker right there, but I don't do that. I'll just go with um, T.J. Edwards. He led the league in tackles this year, so I know his tackling is beast. His tackling should be like 80 or 90 or something like that because he did lead the league in tackling. There you go, 92. So we got our best tackler on the field, okay? Our second best tackler is Tremaine Edmonds, and he's on the field as well, okay? So I would put my second right outside linebacker. I'm going to put uh, Jack Sanborn there, okay? All right, now let's move on to middle linebackers. These are the studs, man. The Ray Lewis's, Mike Singletary's, you know, these guys. Uh, Tremaine Edmonds, you want speed and strength. And then tackle, okay? If you also have hit power, we can always look to see if we have hit power. No hit power. Let's see, hit power, no, no, no. But he has, he goes to sort of strip the ball. He's a, a cover linebacker. He can stay with people. He's pretty fast. High motor. Uh, utilizes bull rush moves. Utilizes spin moves. Utilizes swim move. Big hitter, no. He's a balance if the ball is in the air, okay? Uh, I still like his speed his speed is very very fast for a linebacker okay his strength is 75 it's not great it's good okay the next middle linebacker right here his speed is 60 is 82 and then his strength is 80 okay that's all the middle linebackers we have okay in that case i'm going to stick with the speed okay uh the next thing you do want to look at is awareness and tackling. We already did the tackling. Let's look at awareness. Awareness is 88 and then 63. So we're kind of, Noah Swell is, is decent maybe in uh, a second string position. We'll keep Tremaine Edmonds there. That's our middle linebackers. Next, let's look at cornerbacks. Now, you want speed out here. You want speed, speed, speed. And then you want awareness. And if you're doing zone coverage or man coverage. It's dependent on how you play the game, okay? We have Jalen Johnson at 89 speed, decent. We have Kyler Gordon at 88, Tariq Stevenson, 91, Terrell Smith at 92, Jalen Jones at 92. So we had some pretty fast people not in the starting lineup. Uh, the next thing you want to look at is strength. The next thing you want to look at is awareness. Okay, 91, 81, 75, 67, 60. Okay, so I do like his awareness. He's not as fast as those guys, but I do like his awareness. Okay, he has decent acceleration, which is 90. And then let's look at his zone coverage. I play a lot of zone, so I would look at his zone coverage. His zone coverage is 95, okay? His man coverage is 88. So he's pretty decent in both those categories. That's going to be my number one cornerback. Now, the second thing or the third thing I look at is height. He's six feet. I wish he was taller, but we'll go with that. Kyla Gordon is definitely not fast enough to be my number two starting cornerback, okay? Tariq Stevenson is 91. He's six feet. He is going to be my second string starting cornerback. Kyler Gordon is not even good enough to be my third string cornerback, okay? I would select Terrell Smith, even though he's 6'1", as my third string uh, starting cornerback. And then I would also put Jalen Jones right here. Jalen Jones is going to be my slot cornerback. If you run any type of dime formation, you can go right here and put your fourth or third fastest um, cornerback in this position. And we're going to put Jalen Jones here. Okay. Going back to cornerback. As you see right here, Jalen Johnson, Tariq Stevenson, Terrell Smith, Jalen Jones. Okay. The only other thing we should look at is zone coverage or man coverage, depending on what you play a lot of. As you can see right here, 
Zone coverage, 95, 79, 72, 67. Okay, and then man coverage, 88, 71, 65, 65, and 75. As you see, the man coverage is not that good with the Bears. I would prefer to play zone. But if you have a good defensive line and good linebackers, and you substitute safeties in for linebackers, you can still get away with man coverage because your defensive line should get penetration. Okay, let's look at free safeties. Free safeties, you want speed, awareness, and zone coverage if you play zone, and man coverage if you play man. So we want speed first. Everything, are you guys getting the over and over again what you look for? Is speed. Make sure you have the fastest people out on the field, especially on defense. Okay, Eddie Jackson runs a 90 speed. His awareness is 88. I'll take it. I'll take it. His zone coverage. I play a lot of zone again. Zone coverage is 82. His man coverage is 69. Not that good of a man coverage, but. I play a lot of zone. He'll be in deep blues. So we don't need to worry about that. Okay. Going over here, our next free safety is Hicks. He's an 88 speed. I'll just go ahead and put him up there for now. That's how I run with my free safeties. Strong safeties. Now, we want guys with hit power. Okay. Big hitter. Yes, big hitter. Jaron. Jaquan Brister. Brisker brings it, okay? Speed is not that good, okay? We do have Tariq Stevenson as a cornerback, but let's go to the strong safety. It's Quindell. Quindell Johnson. As you see right here, 89 speed. He's a big hitter. He's 68 strength. And let's look at his zone coverage. Again, I play zone. Zone coverage is 73. Not great, but not bad. Then we have Quindell Johnson at 63. Okay? You can also put cornerbacks. If you have a cornerback that is better ranked with speed and zone coverage and a big hitter, you won't find any big hitter cornerbacks. But if you had a cornerback, you can start him there as well. Okay? Lastly, kick returner. I always put my fastest person on my team in that position. And we have Vulis Jones. And then my punt returner, the same thing. Now, um, that's how you set the roster up. We went through the traits. Okay. Next, we would go and save this. You want to save changes. Okay. And when you save the changes, the new and an official roster will pop up. Always save the official roster. Okay. Once you save that, whenever you go into a game online or whenever you play, your official roster that you just saved will load into the game. So when you go online, it'll do that. Now, during the season, every um, Thursday, the rosters update. Now, when they update, you'll be prompted to upload, to download the update. Now, it'll be based on injuries. They'll put these guys. At the bottom of the roster, if a trade happens, they'll move them off the team. But go in after Thursday, set your roster again, do the same thing, save it as an official roster, and then you'll be fine. Now, whenever you go into a game, if you go to play online, okay, when you go to play online, your official roster is what is going to be online. So that's how you save that, okay? Now, once you guys know how to set your defensive roster, if you want to improve your game on defense, utilize a great coverage defense against the pass and the run, and utilize a good blitz if you need one. Check out these two videos. Utilize the defensive roster tips that I just told you with this blitz, with this coverage, and you will dominate. Watch these videos for that.